Well, a death in Peru has fingers pointing once again at Joran van der Slot. He was a teenager when suspected in the disappearance of an American girl five years ago. Now, aged 22, van der Slot has reportedly fled to Chile. Criminal investigators say they have incriminating evidence tying him to the death of the 21-year-old Stephanie Flores, whose body was found Wednesday in a hotel room registered to van der Sloot. In 2005, van der Sloot was arrested in the case of Natalie Holloway, who went missing during a high school field trip in 2005. He was later released for lack of evidence. Well, joining us now to help out sort out the details of this criminal investigation is the Financial Times reporter Naomi Mapstone. She's on the line from Lima in Peru. And first of all, do police know where van der Sloot actually is at the moment, Naomi? They, they don't have him in custody, but the police have now confirmed that he has, in fact, crossed over into Chile. They've tracked down two brothers who van der Slot paid $635 US to drive from the southern Peruvian city of Nazca, which is familiar to many tourists, into Chile, the Chilean city of Arica. Now, they're calling him a prime suspect. What evidence uh, have they, uh, or what evidence are they talking about which links him to this uh, murder? Well, the police, the police who gave the press conference today said that, they, um, that Mr. van der Slot had been seen entering the hotel uh, with, with um, the victim in the early hours of Sunday morning, just hours, they think, before she was murdered. No one heard any screams from the room, but the, the two were seen going, leaving the casino and entering the hotel together. Her car was later dumped just 50 blocks away, and the, the victim's father has told local media that police found uh, date rape-type drugs um, in the car, although this hasn't been confirmed by authorities. And uh, what do we know about the victim, Stephanie Flores? Uh, Stephanie was um, a, a, just a, a young Peruvian girl. She was believed to have um, met uh, Van der Slot in the casino, although she was reported missing by her family on Friday night. So she was missing between Friday and the early hours this morning when police found her body. So it, it hasn't and been confirmed at the exact point at which the pair met. Right, OK. And have police said what van der Slot was doing in Peru in the first place? He arrived in Peru from Colombia on the 14th of May and police said that he'd, he'd arrived in Peru to, for a poker tournament in a casino. Um, right. And, and uh, could, uh, if you could just, Naomi, give us a, a, a sense of how big a manhunt now is being mounted for van der Slot. Well... The Peruvian, obviously the Peruvian authorities are very concerned to, to uh, find him and uh, Interpol has issued a warrant for his arrest. They're working um, closely with the Chilean authorities to track him down and, and um, bring him back to the country. They, they believe that um, Stephanie Flores, who was, she was found in the hotel, stabbed repeatedly with abrasions to her face. So it was a very bloody scene. The victim's father is obviously uh, convinced that um, Mr. van der Slot had something to do with the, the murder and they're very keen to interview him. All right, Naomi Mapsone with the Financial Times in Lima, Peru. Thanks very much for that. A new high-profile murder and a suspect whose name is all too familiar to criminal investigators. That's because it flooded the media five years ago during the tragic story of a young American girl gone missing from a school field trip. CNN senior Latin American affairs editor Rafael Romo looks at the similarities and the differences between the two cases. Stephanie Flores had gone out with several female friends in Lima, the capital of Peru, this past Saturday night, according to her family. Race car driver Ricardo Flores, father of the 21-year-old, says the group wound up at the casino known as Atlantic in the wee hours of the morning. That's where she met Joran van der Sloot. Estuvieron sentados en, en la misma mesa. Eh, mi hija habla inglés, eh, se pusieron a hablar inglés, han estado hasta las 5 y 16 de la mañana. 
Peruvian police say the couple went to Fander's Lowe's hotel room after leaving the casino, the same hotel room where the young woman's body was found Wednesday morning with multiple stab wounds. Authorities are now calling the 22-year-old Dutch national a suspect in the killing of Stephanie Flores. We have several pieces of incriminating evidence. We have the testimony of a female employee of the hotel who says she saw this foreign national entering his room, room 309, along with the victim on May 30th at 5 in the morning. He left four hours later. Joran van der Sloot was arrested in 2005 in connection with the murder of Natalie Holloway in Aruba. He was released but arrested again two years later. He was not charged because of lack of evidence. Her body was never found. Van der Sloot's attorney, Joseph Takopin, told CNN it's too early to jump to conclusions. If history teaches us any lesson from the Van der Sloot Holloway case, he said, it's that there have been too many false facts that have been leaked and rumors that have been proven untrue. Ricardo Flores, the Peruvian victim's father, sent a message to the family of Natalie Holloway. Police say Van der Sloot may have fled by land to Chile, where authorities have launched a manhunt. Interpol agents are also involved. Rafael Romo, CNN, Atlanta. A young Dutch national once arrested in connection with the disappearance of an American. A man once connected to a sensational missing persons case in the Caribbean is now wanted by police in Peru. Johan van der Sloot was twice arrested in the 2005 disappearance of Natalie Holloway. Peruvian authorities say he's their prime suspect in a killing that happened last weekend in Lima. Rafael Romo has the details. Stephanie Flores had gone out with several female friends in Lima, the capital of Peru, this past Saturday night, according to her family. Race car driver Ricardo Flores, father of the 21-year-old, says the group wound up at the casino known as Atlantic in the wee hours of the morning. That's where she met Joran van der Sloot. Estuvieron sentados en, en la misma mesa. Eh, mi hija habla inglés, eh, se pusieron a, a hablar inglés, han estado hasta las 5 y 16 de la mañana. Peruvian police say the couple went to Van der Sloot's hotel room after leaving the casino, the same hotel room where the young woman's body was found Wednesday morning with multiple stab wounds. Authorities are now calling the 22-year-old Dutch national a suspect in the killing of Stephanie Flores. We have several pieces of incriminating evidence. We have the testimony of a female employee of the hotel who says she saw this foreign national entering his room, room 309, along with the victim on May 30th at 5 in the morning. He left four hours later. Joran van der Sloot was arrested in 2005 in connection with the murder of Natalie Holloway in Aruba. He was released but arrested again two years later. He was not charged because of lack of evidence. Her body was never found. Van der Sloot's attorney, Joseph Takopin, told CNN it's too early to jump to conclusions. If history teaches us any lesson from the Van der Sloot Holloway case, he said, it's that there have been too many false facts that have been leaked and rumors that have been proven untrue. Ricardo Flores, the Peruvian victim's father, sent a message to the family of Natalie Holloway. Police say van der Sloot may have fled by land to Chile, where authorities have launched a manhunt.